Well, the Red Arrows have used the Hawk T-1 aircraft for their displays since it replaced the Fallen Nat in 1979. The plane is also used as a fast jet trainer at RAF Valley in Anglesey, but is being overshadowed by the upgraded T-2 version. And as Tim Cooper reports from Anglesey, the T-2 is at the heart of a world-leading training system. These pilots are probably amongst the best trained in the world. By the time they get to fly these Hawk T2 jets in RAF Valley, they'll have been through a training package acknowledged as industry leading. And as OC of 4 Squadron Wing Commander Kev Marsh explains, what they see in the Hawk is identical to frontline aircraft. What we have is effectively a Typhoon cockpit, but in a Hawk trainer. We've got three, uh, scre uh, three screens where the students or the instructors can have any data they want, and we've got a, a brand new head up display. Only the authentic Hawk joysticks mark this room out from any IT suite. But it's the first stage of the fast jet training process. It's PC-based and it's aimed at getting students up to speed with the menus that control the plane. Next up, a 180-degree simulator. This lets the student fly, as it were, with an operator inputting different scenarios. Again, understanding the functionality of the system is key. For the students, this part of their training is all about getting to grips with the technology in the new variant of Hawk. Gone are the analogue dials, it's all about digital technology, glass cockpit technology as it's known. And this simulator gets them to grips with the multiple layered menus that they're going to have to use in the real plane. Training stage three costs some £17 million and it's a full 360 degree simulator. Trainer Ben Hodges prepares to fly a mission. The g-force and movement of the Hawk can't be replicated here on the ground, but everything else can. The cockpit is identical to the Hawk, and therefore to the Typhoon. Multiple projectors generate a display which is completely reactive to the pilot's inputs and decisions. The sensation is so realistic, I found a few moments standing at the back too much to handle. The visual cue here is almost 360 degrees and it completely confuses your mind to make you think you're actually moving around the sky and it is quite quickly you step away from the fact that you're sat in a simulator and you immediately believe you're in the real environment and flying against whatever that aircraft scenario tactical situation that we set up here is. And when the students finally fly, the Hawk T2 itself becomes a simulator. It simulates all of the much more expensive equipment that you'd have on the front line. So through clever data links and technology, it appears to have a radar and it appears to have all of the frontline weapons that an aircraft such as the Tornado or the Typhoon can carry. In the past, fast jet pilots would have to undergo extensive conversion training, learning the controls of the Typhoon or Tornado in the air. Now with the Hawk T2 and this training suite, they'll leave here ready to go, not only saving money, but also ensuring the best trained pilots possible. Tim Cooper, Forces News, RAF Valley.